take it you guys hear that too that is my in-game audio which is brand new right now uh, I, I I just downloaded OBS re recently and I just fiddled with all the settling settings and finally got the in-game audio here all right I'm gonna show you this awesome game uh, if you guys ever played Clash of Clans or like Simpsons tapped out or the family guy in the quest for stuff this is pretty much just like those games except it's online and I actually like it anyway so back to this um, <laughs> this is an awesome game uh, just like you know you have your citizens paying all the taxes and stuff to help keep your town alive so you can just hold down your right button oh this is called Elvenar by the way if you want to download that there's a link to the website no you don't even have to download it it's an online game it's an online server game browser based game there's a link in the description of this video to the website. You can join the server. I'm not sure which ser server I'm on. It starts with a K. Uh, the server that starts with a K, you can join me. Well, you can't join me. My fellowship is full right now. But you can join the server, and then we can sort of be on the same server. All right, so this is how this works. Uh, over here, we have our chat, which is for our our fellowships, which is our, our guilds, and our or if you're using the Clash of Clan references, that is our clan, and that's the chat over here. Down here is our workshops, which, as you can see, I have this little jumping hammer, which is the supply. It adds to the supply up here, and then most of them are empty right now, which means that we're going to get those going real quick. So I'll just click on them, and I'll choose, like, okay, th these smaller ones, they don't produce as much, so I'm just going to say in 15 minutes, I'll have 14 more supplies. So 14 times 3, that's 42. Um... And sometimes I'll have them cook bread. And uh, so for these ones over here, I'm gonna have them cook or make advanced tools, which is 128 supply, and it's only gonna take about three hours. Um, only, yeah, it's one of those waiting games, but it adds to the supply. As you can see, you need supply when you update thing when you update. Uh, so if I click right here on my planks manufacturer and I go to the upgrade tab. It costs a thousand coins and then 52 supply to upgrade that. But that upgrades to level two, and then it also makes 25 planks per day. Um, you can get all your notifications up here, and it tells you all the people. I'm gonna minimize that. Uh, you can look at your fellowship, which I am with the MGN2, which is a guild that is powered by freedom, that is with the freedom, and I am actually the number one member on this guild, and there's only 25 people per guild, uh, so I think it's pretty neat that I am able to <laughs> obtain rank one, especially when you look at George, because George, he's the CEO of freedom, and he's on this page here. And so if you look up here, you see these uh, these books, and these books are are knowledge points. You know, knowledge like you know that's the what what do you, I like knowledge. Um, well, the knowledge points, uh, as you can see, there's one per hour. And when you go down here to your research, um, that's not supposed to be returned. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, so research. When you go down here to your research, you have all these options here, and you unlock these um, that so you can advance using your. So when I go back here, back to city, if I go to build, I could, you know, you unlock these things like a trader. I unlock the trader, uh, the armory. You unlock the armory. You know that that's all done through the research book right here. So when you add your books, you just click this little uh, chemistry flask. And then this second button is how many you have. I only have one, so it says one, and these are by one. So if I were to have three books, and I wanted to split it up between like three different um, three different options here, which I don't have that option, then I would hit one and then one and one. Or I could just give them all to this one, which is what I'm doing, because I only have one. So I can't really divide them up any more than that. Uh, you need 14 here, and then you also have to pay a little fee to get an activated, which is 800 supply. I'm at almost 600, so I'm 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 rolling in real close. Your taxers <laughs> or your your citizens, uh, they'll pay every so often. So there's probably like eight coins here. No, 16. Okay, so you can just hold down your left on the mouse and then just go around. This right here is the barracks, which um, 
you have in Clash of Clans and games like that. And it's where you build up your army. Uh, that's where you build your army. I can look to see, oh, okay, I have 41, and then I could go here and train more. Uh, I'm kind of fine with 41 right now. Um, but let's go on to the subject of, let's go back to knowledge points. All right, knowledge points. Those, like I said, you use in the research. But if you don't want to wait, you can also pay real, real money. So not a lot of people like to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here. That's not right. To the world map. It's the, just the big spherical globe at the bottom, uh, in your bottom toolbar here. And then you'll have the options to scout out these lands here. Uh, this is me, and this was originally, all this was uh, not there. It all looked like this brown map over here. Um, and that guy's really close to me. Anyway, uh, and so you can scout out the lands for a small fee, and your scout will go out and look, and then you'll have the options to go to these relics. Now, when you click on a relic, you it tells you like the the army that's there, or you could just negotiate a price. You could spend 120 supply, 240, and then also two marble. I have 30 marble, so that's not even a big problem for me anymore. It, uh, a couple days ago, it would have been. Or you could fight, which I like to fight because it's fun. <laughs> uh, so I'll put all my army in there. That's my entire army, and then we'll fight. And then we'll fight through this, and we'll fight through it like a boss, and then we'll gain a knowledge point. One knowledge point after the fight. So I'm going to send one of my guys over here, and then I'm going to send the other one up here. And this guy's going to come and attack my guy with the 17, uh, take away 6, and then he'll be able to attack back. And then it gives me the option to move once again, and then also attack. See, he got knocked down to 1, so he's going to... Uh, he's going to... I'll up here really quick. Uh, death. See, there he is. He's already gone. Which means I won. <laughs> so when we go to back to our province, which is where all of the the options for the uh, relics are, then that's where that's our province. And that's also where uh, we get all of our knowledge points. So, as you can see, I now have one, and then in 15 minutes, roughly, I'll have a two. So it's pretty interesting how math works, right? All right. <laughs> so let's fight again. These these guys only have five, so I, I don't have any problem throwing my whole army in there again. One of my guys has 24, and then the other one has nine. That's awesome for me, because these guys have five, which means that one hit and they're gone. And then they're going to send all their guys to one of my guys. Probably the guy with 24, obviously. And then they get to defend themselves back, so they're automatically losing like this guy's now at two this guy's at four he's only down to 20 and boom just like that I killed him and then it's gonna give me the option for him and then he'll kill him and then I'll make this option to hurt him and he'll be dead <laughs> and it's just as simple as that in a matter of 45 seconds I earned another knowledge point so that's pretty good and better than waiting an hour per. So let's just let's just finish off this uh, this province quick. That entire province is completed. So let's just go back to the world map here, and we will scout out this area now. And then it'll send our scout out, and he'll be out there for a minute. So let's return home. I have I have three knowledge points now. So I'm gonna use those knowledge points right away. And I don't have any other options of where these can go to. So pretty much the only place they can go to is for the planks production boost. So that's where they're going to go. And so I only need two more knowledge points. So I'll get another one in about 10 minutes. And then in a minute, my they'll be done scouting out. But I'm going to need some more soldiers. So we're going to train another 12 here. Um, and then I'm going to train another 12. So I just have to click here and then hit train and hit train. Oh, I don't want to train that many. So that's pretty much the whole gist of the game. This is your builder site, exactly like you have in Clash. Um, and you can unlock them for diamonds. And diamonds is like the gems in Clash of Clans. That is your rare item. You get a, a limited amount at the beginning of the game, and then when you register your email, you get 50. So I only have 150, and I have not found any. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't even know how. So that's... Uh, that'll be in a future episode. I'll teach you how to get more diamonds when I figure it out for myself. 
So until next time, if you want to see more content like this, leave a like on this video. And tell me in the comments below that you want to see more like this. Subscribe if you haven't already. You'll see me next. You'll see me in the next one. And as always, peace, guys.